privilege to join such a august panel and uh, so many other learned uh, participants. Uh, my apologies for walking in a bit late. Uh, listening to uh, everybody intently and more so listening to Rick and watching his presentation more intently, uh, I'm tempted to share a few things here. I think uh, we are talking about a sustainable roadmap, you know, uh, going into the future. The important question to ask is uh, what got us off the road? Because in our country, to do uh, respect for nature, pray to nature and uh, do farming, which is absolutely in line with nature, was something that we inherited over thousands of years in terms of practice. So having said that, whatever influences because of greed happened, that's where we went off the road. So now we are trying to get back on the road and uh, revive old practices, which are in tune with nature. Now it's fear which is driving us now and the impact of climate changes and the vagaries that we are experiencing. It is the fear which is driving us now, which is unfortunate. But I can tell you that uh, technology is a great healer. And if you have technology which has solutions, uh, for example, we have developed a molecule which is uh, using the uh, stabilization of orthosilicic acid. And that is a very good transporter where it ensures that uh, even if there is soil degradation and there are other challenges, it is able to ensure that the essential micronutrients are absorbed by the plants. And we've been getting good success because our endeavor lasted 10 years of R&D before we got those breakthroughs. And uh, today, as we speak, not only in India, we are impacting in at least 12 states. Uh, we also reached out to United States of America with our research, development, demonstration, and deployment. So today, the products that we make out of here, when it reaches uh, US and it is being used in the blueberry farms, in the tart cherry farms, in the uh, honey crisp apples and strawberries, not only is it increasing the bricks, the shelf life, taking care of the SWD menace, it is absolutely certified by eco certification as well as by OMRI. So, you know, when uh, the intent is genuine to do something which is sustainable, we have a program called Re-Earth in which we are addressing the soil degradation. If the intent is genuine and the whole world comes together, there's no road that cannot be crossed or no hurdle that cannot be jumped. That's my belief. And I think we need to work together as, as, as people who have the responsibility of passing on the planet to the next generation. Thank you.